Hello folks and welcome back to Numa San and we're following straight off from the last episode and what we're doing at the moment is finishing the cutting and swathing get the rest of it picked up and then put it into our hay silo and yep definitely thinking this was the right choice to go I know yeah this is definitely the last time we're going to be messing around with the mirror setups but I think this is why Ten, well, technically it's the fourth iteration of our moon style. First one was with the cut bars, and of course we had to upgrade from that at some point. Upgrade to an 8.8 .8 meter mower setup with a front and rear mower. Then we went to, I think it was a 10 meter one with the ultimate bean setup. And now we're at this, I think. But regardless, this definitely speed up the process and Obviously that episode has not gone out yet, it should be coming out this evening as of recording this. I plan on doing some uploads, waiting on for American Falls to come out, it fell testing again. Even though it's like by Springs that fell testing, looking at a few maps out, what I could possibly play on. Even if I should do like a mini series on a different map just to create a bit of a variety in content. There's a few maps I do like. And definitely one thing I may do alongside this, or even afterwards, is do more of a sort of vintage series, just sit to old equipment, old equipment, old combines, and yeah, just enjoy the sort of simplicity of it. Simplicity of farming at its best, but a couple of ideas, got some nice videos in the works, got some test videos, or highlight videos, not sure what to call them. Map tours, that's going to be a thing that will be returning. Why not I do like, mod reviews? You know, it does vary on how quick I can get them done. And that before others get them done, you know, like sort of DJ Goham and CP. I'm not sure yet whether or not I'll do those or not, but regardless, we'll continue on here. And I think the best thing to do is quick get it done in the time lapse, and then we'll go from there, I think. Because we are planning on getting some animals today, hopefully. Or at least in March or in April. Because we need to plow this field up and get this grass in as well. Done so 65,000 years we've got here. So, in total, have a look, see how much we've got in here. In total, just back this up, just going in. So, 11,000 years of hay at the moment. So, in total, that is 197. So, 
Yeah, pretty much always bang on the 200,000 minimum we thought we were going to get, so not too shabby. And that will be done by tomorrow afternoon, about 3 o'clock, 2 3 pm. So I think what we'll do is we'll sort this somewhere for now. Or we'll whack it here somewhere, perhaps. But yeah, definitely also at some point need to work on expanding the yard. But perhaps like double the amount of sheds in or some bigger sheds in. And we're making a decent amount of money so we can actually proper detail this farm up. So the plow, if I remember, is over here. And there was too many places where it could have, could have possibly been. Okay, hooked up. There we go. So the plan for the new fields, I think I will go with two fields perhaps. I should know, I think three. Oh no, we're doing only 57, so I think you can have a small section here, small field here going across. And then we'll have another one going across here and then have a big one up here. In terms of where we're going to stop, I think we'll stop. We'll follow around this curve here. Actually, what's the terrain like? Actually, yeah, not too bad. So, follow around the trees. Try not to get too close. And then. I think we'll stop some. Yeah, should we stop somewhere here? Actually, what about animals? So, I'm thinking. One, we need a new chicken pen. Because the one we've got is. Was it that one? I think it is. It's been a bit difficult for us, so... Yeah, because I'm thinking for something like that... Eggs come out on the left, that's fine. Actually, you know what? I think, yeah, if we do that... And then have another one, like so. Just have a ref reflect in that way. And then the field could end here. Actually, you know what? Let's start with that. So, well, I should know, chickens could go somewhere else. That's not a real priority. We want cows, so have a look at these. Thinking, yeah, if we go for one here, okay, that's not too bad. So I think, yeah, I've tried to go for a few, I think, if we can. Go for two here, and we can get three in. There we go, look at that. That's actually quite nice. Yeah, technically, the triggers is. I'm sure it's still within our property line, so... So that's the animal trigger, that's for the slurry. Also gonna need a manure heap, won't we, so... Building silos. So, go pretty much anywhere, so... Because, yeah, Surrey's coming out of there. Ah, no, that's the milk. Milk's here, so... Try to think... Try to play this smart. Actually, you know what? That's a good spot. Just have it sort of tucked out of the way, you know, I think. Have it tucked out of the way. Clear some of these trees off. Flatten this out, then we can create a nice little pathway around. Yes, but it's a bit compact, I know, but overall, I think actually ain't too bad of an idea. So, hopefully, it'll let us go. So, I think we've tried to soften the terrain first of all. Ain't much soft over here, but still. And there's that wolf again. 
So let's try that. So buildings, silos. So we've got some manure heaps. That's a bunker silo. And this has a slide just to store manure rather than think so. You know what, let's stick with the base game one, at least we know that could possibly work. Unless there's anything in here. Oh, have a nice Surrey tank. But man, that's pricey that is. Molly fruit silos, don't need that. Don't need those. Nope, no pat storage. Ah, there we go, self-made. So that's part of that, but... Yeah, only 74,000 litres. So that could be enough or too much. I have no idea. I have to go for another one there. We're guessing that'll work. And then we'll get the cows in, so we'll go over here. So sorry, food. And it needs straw as well, so So now I'm thinking what to do. This is gonna be right now have enough money we make. Should we just have enough for yeah, or no, transport fees. No, that's fine. And then... How much can we afford? 32 grand. So if we go over to animals, have a little look. So they're going to need TMR or hay, which could do 8% or grass, which is 40%. And then they would need straw and all that. So try to get a bit of extra money in. How much sorghum is selling for? Uh, not much. Soybeans are starting to peak, but not yet. Seeds, not so much. Don't sell any silage, we need that. What about planks? Ouch, that's 2,000 we need. 80 grand at least for what we want. So that means we're going to need 40 pallets of planks to sell. Do we even have those? I'm not even sure. <laughs> Just you cough there. So, how many look? So, there's no more spawning at the moment here. So, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. And we need 20. How many do we have in storage? 70. So, yeah, we do have enough. So, Thanks. We're gonna need was it forty? So these plus six, thirty-one, and another nine, so another ten after this, so Okay, I guess no more can spawn. I don't know what that is fine. So where is you? That's over here. So, part is up over here. Yeah, I know so I was going to do that, but this is a priority. Because quicker these cows can get started in producing milk, the better. 
They're also going to need straw as well, so that's one thing to note. May have to supplement some straw bells at some point, but actually, well, flowers and mushrooms. What are they going for at the moment? Uh, sell mushrooms and flowers, so I'll get as much as I can loaded up, and then we'll take this to sell point. And just sell a lot of this because we need 80 grand for the soy mixer or the TMR mixer. So that is this one. Also, a bit of extra money just to decorate this, just to get this all nice and laid out. And I'm trying to think of what else do we need. Ah, that's it. M milk. Milk extension, so that be under site extensions, yes. So we've got that, so that's an extra 55,000 litres. Sounds alright, I think. I know that's site extension for New Man's Land. Is there any other milk extensions I have here? Or no? I'm guessing not. Cows are moving away. Well, no, no, I thought we did, but my bad. Well, anyways, we'll get it on. It shouldn't take too long. And then we'll reconvene at the shop. Five thousand liters of plants, five thousand liters of mushrooms or flowers, four thousand liters of mushrooms, and also four pallet of eggs. I actually think it's fifty-six thousand liters because we do have an extra pallet on top that ain't strapped down. Let's see how much money we can get here. Remember, we needed eighty grand plus extra, so yeah, so if we're gonna do it easily. That's a hundred and twenty for two grand here. What's that camera collision? And 
and just two more pallets. Yeah, it was a bit finicky getting them all stacked up. I did know there was a bit of lag. There was just the amount of pallets in one spot. See if that works. Me a sec, let's see if we get this adjusted. That's one. Let's get that one come over. And that is two. So, yeah, 141 grand we got there, so that is just enough for what we need. And again, it's a bit extra over because of things we need, like herbicide we're going to need. I think the worker's done because we did set the worker off doing this. Uh, it's always done it. Still miss bits. Yeah, I'm not sure it's with the worker's missing bits now. Try to go over some of these strips there, but. Uh, that's the eye worker's view, I guess. So, I'll park you here for now. But now, we need to plow up, so. What did we say he was going to do? Was it two fills or three fills? I couldn't remember. So, I think we said one big field up here and then two smaller fields here. So, decent chunk. Actually, that's quite small that field is. So, and I think once we get some more money coming in, we can get another another plot down by the end of the year or so. Try to think. Uh, if we say close to have a visual look. So that goes to there. You know what, let's do two fields instead. If we need to divide it then we can easily divide. And then just put a trail in at some point. Actually, you know what, let's see if it's just one big field, because this is going to be our main grass field for like silage and hay, so we are going to need this. So this will be our grass field, actually. And then hopefully we should get another plot of land by the end of the year, if we can. Then that would be our grain fields. There we go, extend you up to there. Yeah, I think this should work out well for us. It's going to be quite a bit of work to get this all done. But the good thing is we've got the Mega Plow. So it'll make our life so much easier. Yes, we may need to rock pick this, but... Actually, nah, anyway, we'll just leave it. Because I don't think it does anything to the actual yieldage. I think it's more so for what's it? Wear on equipment, so. But yeah, just look at that. 26 meters. And I think our next plot of land will be 57. So I do want to get that track in. Because I do want to get a track from here to the main road, main path track that to the shop and again just to make everything look nice so I think that's what we're going to do ah, actually back to the cow situation go over here go to this one was it I didn't have all the cows yep 27 Get some brown Swisses in. There we go. Lovely cows. Ah, yeah, we need to make a TMR area. We need to clear this out. I'm trying to think where could we put the TMR mixer? If we say. 
yeah, perhaps we could do like a path along this side. So we can limit to where the, we're going to plow to here. And this bit could be just from moving around. So if we do that, go to productions. So that's going in there, so we want you to go there, I think. Like so. There we go. And I think what we'll do is, I'm going to spend a little bit of time, if we've got enough money, just to tidy this up, make it all look nice, and then we'll come back in a few moments. And there we go, a little bit of time later, and yeah, I'll say you think too bad. Can't extend this right to the edge because I can't paint over that for some reason. Similar over here, perhaps touch that up. Little, little tweaks here and there, okay, I'll admit. But so you've got to move a dirt texture on the ground. And there's not the best of lighting shows off, but. So yeah, I've got dirt that goes all the way through to here. And then, yeah, we just got rid of all of this here. Uh, we just got the wood chipper, I couldn't be bothered to chop it down, so this is wood chipper. Got about 20,000 years of wood chips in there, so I guess that's something. And we've just gone along right along the edge here, as we mentioned. And just create a little path that goes all the way around and go over there or go over here Where? yeah I don't think I'll curve it, I'll keep it here perhaps I'll make this a touch wider in places but apart from that yeah look at that there is like super narrow so okay, perhaps get a little fine touch get some asphalt and just go like so just we just all create natural curves and that just try to make it as feel as natural as possible without looking too obvious so again go there get around section there try to get rid of some of these grass here on the pavement ok that's look a lot better now Street. And now, I think it is time to sort out the cows. So, they're going to need straw and all sorts. And that's all going to go into there. And that is a production chain. So, if we go over here, hopefully, we don't need any mineral feed or anything like that. Nope, just 1000. So, it's basically a two to one to one. So yeah, it's going to need... So for every two bits of silage, it needs one of hay and straw. And it is a very speedy production, so... I think the only way to get this done is to do a time lapse, get all that done, get all shipped over, and then start doing some of the plowing as well, because we need to get this done as well. I doubt we'll get seeded today. Who knows? So, yeah. Depends on how the lighting goes. We still get enough light. We'll try to get seeded today, but no guarantees on that. So, uh, for wood chips, where is the best place to sell them? How much are we going for at the moment? Have a look. Oof not a lot and it's going down from here so you know what let's go and do that first of all get a bit of cash in and actually you know what let's just put this aside out we'll worry about that later it's not an urgent thing so yeah get all this done and I'll see you folks in a few moments <laughs>
Alrighty then, we are in April, we've missed the deadline to get everything done we wanted, but for the time being this field is ploughed, fertilised fully, and lined. And with our TMR, turn you off. So we've got 100,000 litres of TMR in there, 25,000 litres in there. And we fed our cows last night, and yeah, they're actually doing really well. Already got 3,000 litres of milk in each one almost, so 9,000 litres. We did put these milk cinches in, we put two down in the end, I thought, heck it, why not? Ooh, that, that is ugly there. Did not realise that in the dark, so let's go and sort that out. So, pretty expensive, I see we've got very little in terms of cash left. Okay, I can't do much there. Nope. Well, we'll adjust this later on, but yeah, what's that? 120, 135 cows we've got. That ain't too bad. Um, we need money now, so I think to end off the episode, let's go and sell some more stuff. So we're gonna need this. And in terms of our cows, yeah, they're doing all right. Uh, yeah, that feed is gonna last a while. Definitely easy a while, so plenty of feet for now. We're still gonna smash out a lot of TMR and that. And we did, I was in time lapse, did one cell to get this, um, clothes I think it was, and a few other bits. Just get the tipper body on this, and that has made all the difference. Easier to get food in as well compared to our other traders, so. And what we're going to do now is sell a lot of stuff, because a lot of stuff is starting to peak now, including our clothes and that. The clothes technically aren't at best until next month, but we need some money right now. And uh, where do I put that to? Over here. Also, we had a ton of sugar, which we didn't realise. So we've got most of them loaded up, along with some fruits and vegetables, a couple of bits of oil, and some wool, because actually with the wool, we're producing more wool than the spinnery or the farm supply production can keep up, so... So yeah, from bottom to top we've got planks, some oil, sugar, canoe oil, fabric, eggs, lettuce, potatoes, wool, clothes, mushrooms, sunflower oil, flowers, mushrooms, and bread. That's a lot of stuff. And uh, just thinking, things like the clothes, where is the best place to sell it all? So the wool, farm shop, how many look else, equal, farm shop, sell every container just about. See it's pretty much almost peaking already. So it may go up another 100 200 quid. Sugar, sell everything container. Well, based on that, we're going to go to the sell everything container. Yeah, we could obviously divide it all in that, figure out which one's which for farm shop and sell everything container, but yeah, there's no point in that. So the general vibe is to sell everything container, so that's where we're going. So if you want to turn around and get all this sold in one go. And in the next episode, what we're gonna do is get our grass field planted, get rolled, and try and think what else. Is there much else we need to do in April? Our sugar beets are being taken care of, so apart from some more timber for sawmills, that's pretty much it. So Let's see how much money we're going to make here. Pretty slow. <laughs> there we go, sell all that. Look at that money shooting up. 49 grand first of all. I 
flowers is accepted here, so I don't know the flowers ain't, so I guess and that's why we're not selling everything. Sell that bit of sugar. I don't know what, let's go over here. Man, that's a lot of money there. A hundred grand already. So yeah, I think we should just about for the harvester for the sugar beets. When we come and sell the planks in June, July. Along with whatever else we sell today in this episode. Look at 150 grand. There we go. And our final sum 51 grand. So that is 156 grand, or 155 and change. That is nice. So we're about just under halfway for the harvester. Anything to use market? Uh, no, just a size fork. So to remind ourselves how much is the harvester again. Ah, I've just realised. Yeah. Well, we need the cotton harvester first of all. That is 376 grand. And ouch, that's 400 grand. So I doubt we're gonna be able to get that. So if that's the case, realistically, I think we'll go with either that setup and then pick it up, or that setup. So that is 125 grand. That is. 40, 37 grand. Plus, we need something to pick it up. And so, does any. Oh, where is it to? It's under here, miscellaneous. Ah, where is it to? There we go, it's under belt system. So, the forage pickup. And that does potatoes, sugar beets, and all sorts of other stuff, so... All in all, it's going to be a hundred grand, so we need... Half a million, almost. 450 grand. Are we even going to make that much amount of money? Because we need it, and we can't really least start to break that rule. Oh, no. When's the harvest windows for these? So cotton is October, sugar beet is October. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six months to earn what three hundred grand. I'm not sure we're going to make that amount of money. Maybe be able to cut very close, but we got other things to do, we've got to maintain the farm, we need to still buy things like fertilizers and lime when we need it. And yeah, this definitely needs a wash as well. Well on that note, that's where we're going to leave it today. Will we get enough money to get what we need? Find out next time, but for now, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button, feel free to down below. If you want to share us, then please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, for you to do, hope you're going to stay. But for now, this is me, Farmer Envoy Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.